So today we're going to look at diagnosing some motor drive failure issues on a Whirlpool Cabrio. So when this unit came in, it had about four or five error codes on it. Uh, some of them being motor drive failure. Uh, there was a UI stuck button. There was an overheated motor failure. So regardless of how many error codes there were, um, I put it into uh, manual test mode and um, I went right to go to do the spin test and when I went to the spin test uh, I couldn't get it to spin so I knew it was something related to one of the motor functions here and I'm gonna go over each one individually but you know you have between your rotor your stator and your gear case or transmission it's one of these three that's probably causing the issue so I'm going to go into each one individually and show you what's good and what's bad. So the first thing we're going to look at is the rotor. Now when you uh, turn the machine over, uh, this is the first thing you're going to see, like this. And this sits right on top of the, the stator, sits right inside this. Uh, what happens with the rotor is, you know, a couple of things could happen. Uh, the magnets, you want to check the magnets to make sure that they're in good shape and not loose. Sometimes they actually come out. Um, you want to look for cracking in the plastic. Make sure that there's no big cracks and it's intact. And the third thing you want to look at is uh, the center shaft here. Uh, make sure that the splines are intact. You don't want it to be smooth. If it's smooth, it's not going to be catching on the gear case and not turning at all. So uh, make sure that all the splines are intact. Like this one. Now this one was not causing a problem. This one was actually in very good condition. Uh, so we're going to move on to the motor stator. So this is the motor stator. Um, this is what it looks like in the cabrio, but uh, there are different types of stators. They're you know maybe different sizes, but they all serve the same function. They all sit inside the rotor, and between the magnets, they all you know spin. But uh, this is the one we have for the cabrio, and this is a good one. And I'm going to show you uh, in a second here. Uh, in your manual, you actually it'll tell you you can check the ohms on this and it's under the uh, drive system motor and and what you want to have is between 8 and 10 ohms between um, these two connect all these three liars there's, there's these two here 8 and 10 ohms between the uh, blue and white and then 8 and 10 ohms between the red and white so if we get a multimeter and we set it to ohms we just want to do a test here. That one came up uh, 8.8 8. and I'm going to switch to the white and red. And that one is also 8.7. So that is between 8 and 10, um, so that's a good sign. You also want to look for, again, cracking. Any type of cracks in the plastic will, can cause some trouble. This, this is a good stator, so I, I know this is good. Let's show you. This one's a bad stator. I mean, obviously, look at this thing. This thing was is gross. It was all corroded on the contacts here but then we run the same test here with the ohms this is between now this one has a yellow line instead of a white but uh, it's going to take the same measurements so this one on this one is nine four which is okay but then when we try to do blue and the yellow I'm doing this because I know it's it's bad and there's the only way I can get the connection. I can get it. 
get this in here. Yeah, you see it, it, it went a little crazy for a bit and it, then it, it crapped out. So that was a problem here. Um, and this was a bad stator. And I double checked that because I put this stator in instead of this one and the motor turned perfectly. So um, I diagnosed that this was the problem. So that's a good way to test out to see the stator. Now, if you did test your stator, and it was good, we're gonna move on to the gear case. Okay, so this is your gear case or transmission. These go bad a lot. Um, I have one good one and one bad one. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. So on these types of gear cases, the first thing I usually like to do is, I like to just spin it manually now it should turn nice and smoothly. If, if you do this and you cannot move it and it's locked, it's bad. You should be able to turn it freely. There's a little resistance, but not too much. But obviously it spins nicely. You also want to check for the grooves here. Make sure that everything is not smoothed out because um, you have your wash plate sitting on here and you know the, the spin basket sits on here so you want to make sure everything is uh, has nice grooves in here to catch now besides this outer this outer part that's shifting we do have a secondary part that shifts it's the inside of this uh, shaft here, the smaller shaft. This one spins separately. Now, sometimes you might not check that, but you need to check that. So what I do is, um, now, this is the uh, inside of a wash plate that I broke off. But if, if you have this off, you have your wash plate off. So what I would do is take your wash plate and kind of just stick it on here and you're going to turn it see now this part's turning but the rest is not turning so what it's going to do is it's going to turn this smaller smaller shaft inside and that also should turn nice and smoothly so this one's a good one now i'm going to show you one that's not good So if I go to this one here, same thing, I'm going to do my test here. So this is actually spinning smoothly. So you would think, okay, maybe it's good. But now watch when I do this. When I take my, my smaller one here, listen to this. Hear that grinding? That's bad. That's what you do not want to hear. So, this is a bad gear case. So normally, you might miss that, but uh, that's something you definitely want to check. So, there you have it between um, your rotor, your stator, and your gear case. Uh, it's probably going to be one of those. Now, if it's not, you could look at the wiring harness. These go bad sometimes too. The wires could fray. Uh, sometimes mice eat the wires, you know, um, or the connections go bad. So that's your fourth option. Really, those are it. Uh, there shouldn't really not anything else to, to look at um, besides that. So I hope that helps, and um, please subscribe. Thank you.